Hey peeps, it's Kay. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're already a subscriber. Happy New Year. Um, so I have four journals that I want to share with you. The first journals that are, I think I'm not even having them in frame here. Um, first journals of the new year. But before I show you that, I have to thank one of you. I don't know who it is because um, it was anonymous. So <laughs> I have no idea. But I've been meaning to say a thank you a few months ago when I received, excuse me, excuse me, when I received this in the mail. Um, it came from Amazon. That's all I know. It was an anonymous gift. I don't even know how anybody knew I wanted to try wax seals, but I did. And I don't know who sent this to me, but I wanted to say thank you so, 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 so much. I'm sorry it took me so long to um, say this because I just used it with these <laughs> journals. I put it on my shelf and I, I think I was a little intimidated. I'm still not sure if I did it right. I think they came out pretty good. You'll, you'll be the judge when you see it. But if you have any tips, I would love to know um, any tips you have. But I used it again for the first, I mean, I used it today for the first time. It's so, such a beautiful kit. Let me show you how beautiful. Look at all the beautiful wax and the little, I don't know what they called. <laughs> this little thing that you put the thing on. I don't know. And then I know be think these are the stamps. There's three of them. So this is a little rose. Oops. I can't find the camera. The little rose one. And little tree this is the one I used on all the journals and then this one says best wishes so I would love to know where to get more of these because I think I'm like addicted now so it came with look at the little fancy little handle how pretty is that oh my goodness it has the little spoon thing I don't know what you call these things and it came with um, some paint markers. And I didn't even realize until just now it came with tweezers. I'm like, duh, that's so... <laughs> I'm such a newbie to this, but I love this so much. And I thank whoever my crafty angel is who blessed me with this. I thank you so, so much. I really don't remember ever saying on a video that I wanted to try it, but maybe I did. Thank you, whoever it was. I thought at first, for a quick second... So maybe my bestie, but then I'm like, she doesn't know anything about this kind of stuff. So I don't think it was her. And it wasn't her because she would have admitted it if it was her. But yeah, she's like, yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about wax seals, but I know she didn't. But thank you, whoever it was for blessing me with this. I'm so, I've been blessed so much in my life, especially, um, well, especially since opening up my shop, I could not create so many of the things especially in the beginning um if it wasn't for the many crafty angels who have blessed me with 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 a lot <laughs> with a lot you have no idea so much stuff so anyway before i get emotional because I, I literally cried when i opened it up but i just wanted to thank whoever it was thank you so much okay let's get started miss brooklyn can you have a seat Come sit. Come sit. We're not playing ball. Come sit down. Hold on. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Miss Brooklyn needed a timeout. Being a bad girl. All right, so I have four journals. Um, I don't even know what I was saying before. <laughs> but they are... Um, they are grungy, like mixed media. I'm trying to get them all in frame. Um, grungy mixed media. So I'm going to try to do all of them, flip through all of them in this video. Um, I'm going to do a complete chatty chatty with this one and probably one of the fabric ones. The fabric ones, there's three fabric ones. These three I'm going to list together. And then this one I'm going to list separately because... It is not fabric. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so the other thing that I've tried was rusting. I've never rusted anything, which is so funny because like grungy is my thing. 
and I had so much fun. That's gonna be like my between the wax seals and rusting is gonna be my new jam. <laughs> So I rusted these safety pens. They came out so good. First time I ever did it. I got to get used to this because I flipped my camera over on another on the other side. So I got to remember where the camera is. So I think they came out so good. And so I just added some beads. And this butterfly is from Spectrum Art Creations. So okay. So the all the fabric. This book cover. Um, the paper collection, all are from Spectrum Art Creations, and the metal pieces are from, except for, of course, the safety pens. Everything else is from Spectrum Art Creations, okay? I don't know if she has any of this stuff down, um, in her shop. I have not been into in her shop or the sales in a while because I'm trying to stay away from them. But I will link her down below, and then you can check out and see, check her out and see if she's still if they still have any of this stuff in stock because I really don't know. All right, so anyway, so this beautiful butterfly, it has three layers. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it has it has three layers. Um, it's so cute. And then I rusted these metal pieces that I got from Spectrum Arts Creations as well. This is just some torn muslin that I sprayed and just made a little ruffle with. And then I just tied everything up with this jute or twine or I don't know what this is called, but I love it. I have so much of it. I got a big ball of it on clearance at Michael's years ago. And I've just been using it. So... This is my second time. I don't know if I said that. It's my second time recording this. The first video, I don't know what happened to it. It just came out real wonky. But here we go again. So, again, this is a, a book cover. Um, it is not like paper. It has kind of like a coating on it. So, I guess if you like make a mark on it or something, and maybe if you get a little spill, you might be able to wipe it up. I don't know, so don't try it. <laughs> because I haven't put anything on there but I just stitched around it kind of messy stitching around it and just beautiful so I know this paper collection is called um blooming retreat the book cover and the paper in here is called blooming retreat so let's get started I'm sorry I'm just so out of breath <laughs> so each one of them has a die cut um I did ink up everything with um, ground espresso so this is the dot Tim Holtz die cut and I just put a butterfly here um, the paper is really 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 thick thick paper and it came with a lot of um, ephemera so I used a lot of a lot of ephemera from the paper collection but I also made some like grungy ephemera that you will see um, this is my porch prints so all the digitals I use my tearing ruler and I tore it and then I inked around it with some um, ground espresso. So here's the floral book page. I did some stamping. This is from an antique book, like an antique art book. Another thing that was gifted to me. Here's some ephemera here. A little tag. All this is from the paper collection. This is Tsunami Rose using her nudes print. Um, digital kit and I'm gonna put everybody all the digital kits down in the description box below I did some grungy spraying with my doilies that I love to do this ledger paper again I did some stamping music sheet this is um, the doily oh this came out this is just a postcard it doesn't have anything on it so you can journal on it and this so you guys know I've used um, digitals from Sunday Fable before. Well, now they have, they're coming out with so much new stuff, so they probably have even, even more stuff now. But they are coming out with, um, well, they have um, envelopes and pockets because um, they just had um, just digital like paper before. Now they're coming out with um, envelopes and tags, not tags, but they may have tags. Envelopes and pockets, I know for sure. They keep adding stuff, so they may have a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't know about, but they asked if I wanted to to try out their envelopes, so this is the one I, sh I chose, and it came with five. 
Um, so I have one in each one of these journals, but they're all different and they're so pretty. And I just thought they matched so perfectly with these kits. So all I did was ink around it and that's it. And I just added just a, just a couple of little ephemera bits in here. That's all. But check them out. I love their digitals. You guys know I've used it before when I did my grungy fairy journal and um what other ones a lot of them i've used a lot of their digitals and they're very very reasonably priced um so check them out i'll have them linked down below too am i in frame oh my goodness let me move this stuff over because i don't think i was in frame you guys was i in frame let me go back i feel like i was not in frame so let me just go back and just do a quick little flip just in case I was out of frame because I feel like I was totally out of frame. Um, so yeah, let me go back just in case because I don't want to have to do this video all over again. I don't. I will be so upset. All right. So we were here, right, with the pocket. I mean the envelope. So this is some handmade paper. I didn't hand make it, but um, I received it. Another Crafty Angel re um, gave me this um, handmade paper that she bought. Um, this <laughs> okay, so this film strip is funny because I found, um, I didn't even know they were in there. I was pulling the papers out of a Spanish English dictionary and I found a bunch of these film strips and I was like oh my gosh I don't know how to use them so I just stapled them on a piece of scrap paper and then added a washi sticker on top of it and I don't know so you can use it kind of like a tuck spot this is actually the packaging from this paper collection and um Here's another ephemera. I just stitched that around there. And this is like a vintage, I just guess it's like a stock certificate. This is from Antique Pavery. I'm not sure if she still sells digital kits. I'm not sure, but I will try to link her down below. I know this is not in her shop anymore because um, I, I looked and I didn't see it. So this is a Tim Holtz stamp that I stamped on some torn muslin. All the other ones I stitched it, but this one I forgot to stitch in before I bound the book. So I had to glue this one in. So just to let you know. Did I say these are from my porch prints? These dictionary pages? I think I did. I'm not sure. This is from my children's book. A children's book, not my children's book. <laughs> some onion skin paper. I don't know why I feel so like I don't know, like I haven't recorded a video before, but I just feel crazy right now. Um, this is from the, the uh, ephemera pack, and then I just added this little sticker of this bird. And here's a belly band that I grunged up. I just used my distressing tool and grunged it up. Again, this is Tsunami Rose. This is Tsunami Rose. This is the Spanish English Dictionary page. Another Tim Holtz stamp. It's from my garden book. And then this you could journal on. All of them have one so I'm not going to take them all off. They're so pretty isn't it? And it has like little gold. Um, again this was another gift from a crafty angel. So lots of journaling space. Look how beautiful. Isn't that lovely? I had to put that in the middle. That was just really pretty. <clears throat> and then this is Tsunami Rose. This is the scrap, so you can journal on the back. This is nice and sturdy. Another stamp here. Another ephemera from the paper collection. Put their little stamp down there. This is from the children's book, my porch prints, and then this is my porch prints. This is um, Tim Holtz. I did butterflies behind her, and then each one has a vintage um, letter that I got from Amore Fabrics um, from Selena's shop, and I will link her shop down below as well. I haven't read all of the letters, but 
the ones that I did read were really, really sweet. So all of them have one of these letters tucked under this little thing. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> So a couple of the pages that you'll see, my printer was running out of ink and of course I did not know. And so you'll see it's kind of purpley, a little tint of purple. But I just thought, you know, it's a, it's a grungy, it doesn't look bad to me. So I just left it in there. Um, what else? What else? Okay, so here's, my, here's the first wax seal that I did. Um, let me see if I can get in and then this is a rusty paper clip so it may leave a little mark just so you know um this is just some stationery that another crafty angel sent me so and i just used a removable um glue dot because let me tell you i made a rookie mistake <laughs> so i was putting i didn't want to put the wax directly on here because it was my first time so i put i meant to put it on parchment paper and i put it on wax paper yeah i know so i just cut around it so there's wax underneath so this will probably just peel right off because I, it was it's on a glue dot so this is just some some pretty stationary so as you can see the rust is coming off so if you it rubs off but if you don't like it, you can just take it off. But I, I like the whole grunginess of it. So I won't take them all out, but I'll show you the seals up close. The ledger, on the side of the ledger. Here is another one of the ephemera journaling cards. This is um, one of those foul folder things. Um, I did some collaging and some uh, texture paste with the um, Spectrum Art stencil and then added some, I was gonna say Tsunami Rose, <laughs> some Tim Holtz uh, letters here. And then this, this is Tsunami Rose, the mason drawer. I love those. And then here's the back pocket. And so there's the tag. And it opens up so you can journal. Here's a little ticket strip, little another journal card, and then we have another tag here. And then that's just a little ephemera piece. So you have two little pockets here that you can little things in and as with all my journals they will come with even more ephemera so you could further decorate so that is that one so this one will be the only one that will be listed separately from the other ones okay so that's this one all right so I'm gonna go through this one I'm gonna take everything out of this one and then I'm not I'm gonna not speed it up but I'm just going to just flip through it and not talk so this video is not too long all right so this one I'm gonna list as a uh, parcel post or post this one I'm gonna list as ledger and this one I'm gonna list as leaves so all right so let me stay in frame here all right let me show you up close this one has the butterfly as well with the beads Okay, and then it has the metal piece right there. All right. And of course, these are fabric, and as, as I always do, I put felt underneath the fabric, and I stitch around it, and then I put the book corner. So it has like a nice feel to it. All right. Stay in frame. All right, there we go. I don't remember what this one is called, but I will list the names of each one of them because I do have them in my notes um, in the description box. I know all the papers are from Craft O'Clock, but I don't remember every last one of the names right now. 
So I just layered this ephemera right here, little circles. Again, I used Tsunami Rose, some ledger, some stamping, children's book page, uh, my porch print. my porch prints. Here's that same paper, so I won't take it off. Here's, let me show you this envelope, because each one of the envelopes are different. So this one has this one. So pretty. And it just went so perfectly. So I just put a little bit of ephemera inside. Um, inside each one of the envelopes. I won't take them all out. But they're so cute, those little envelopes. They are adorable. So this one, I just put the little tag, not tag, tickets. I think I, I stitched it on there. Okay. So as you can see, they have pretty much the same elements. Some of the ephemera is different, but they pretty much have same elements in each one of them. I did the same thing with this. This is just some mixed media paper that I just did some collaging on, some napkins, some stamps. This paper is so thick that I could not put so much stuff in it because it, it will be difficult to write in it. Here's the other wax seal. Hopefully the, the, um, the camera is focusing. And then I have two little ephemera bits in here. How pretty, right? And then I did the stamp the wings right here. So I have wings stamped in all of them. They're just in different places. And the butterflies. I think I did all the butterflies like on this paper, this little flap. And then this one came with some pockets. So I have a couple of little ephemera pieces in here. Here's the film strip on this one. This way, I might have the packaging. You know, I thought I had the packaging. Look how beautiful, right? Um, I thought I had the packaging for that one with the name on it, but I don't. Then we'll Tim Holtz doll. Here's the letter for this one. And then we have tag here. Mason jar, it's another journal card, and then this little teeny tiny little skitty tag. Again, you're gonna get um, more ephemera to go along with this for you to use. All right, then there's the back. So this one is gonna be parcel post. All right, and then I'm just gonna flip through these and I'm not gonna talk.
journals. I really hope you like them. I absolutely love how they came out. I really, really, really love them. And I hope you do too. They will be listed in my Etsy shop by the time you see this video. Um, the digital kits that I use, um, I print them on, well, in this one, I print them on um, 32 pound linen paper. So they have a really nice um, vintage look to them and feel. Um, and I really like to use those when I am using, um, when I'm going for that grungy vintage look. Um, so I really hope you like these journals. Um, and please subscribe if you have not already. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.